Hi, I have another book review for you, and this is from Sherry Lapinas and Unwanted Guests. I truly apologize for the glare, but honestly, it's out of my control. All right, let me start off with the description. A weekend retreat at a cozy mountain lodge is supposed to be the perfect getaway, but when the storm hits, no one is getting away. It's winter in the Catskills and Mitchell's Inn, nestled deep in the woods, is the perfect setting for a relaxing, even romantic weekend away. It boasts spacious old rooms with wood-burning fireplaces, a well-stocked wine cellar, and opportunities for cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, or just curling up with a good murder mystery. So, when the weather takes a turn for the worse, and the blizzard cuts off all electricity, and all contact with the outside world, the guests settle in and try to make the best of it. Soon, though, one of the guests turns up dead. It looks like an accident. But when a second guest dies, everyone starts to panic. Within the Snowden paradise, something or someone is picking off the guests one by one, and there's nothing that they can do but bunker down and hope they will survive the storm and one another. Okay. I love this book. I gave it four and a half stars. I'll tell you right now that it reminded me almost immediately of Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None. I recently uh, grabbed another copy of that book from Amazon and I will be rereading it because this is a, a similar to another book I read this year. That other book was called, by the way, Pressure by Betsy Reevely. That one was the same thing, a very a confined environment, a small group of people, and they started being killed one by one. So, as the description said, it's a setting where a group of people have gathered together to get away for the weekend. It, there's 12 people, there's 10 guests, and there's two staff members, or two employees. These people are friends, couples, even complete strangers. Now... They want a weekend getaway. Some want a romantic twist. A couple of friends just want to reconnect. It should be a great, beautiful weekend. The cabinet or the inn that they're in is described as being lovely and old-fashioned, great big fireplaces, a nice library, a big lounge. It should be the most beautiful weekend. Well, suddenly, one of the guests turns up dead. At first, it seems like it's an accident. They hope that it's an accident, but as the blurb said, so it's not a spoiler, somebody else turns up dead, so they realize that A, the first death may not have been an accident, and B, these must be connected. Furthermore, if there's only 12 of them and two of them are dead, then at least one of them has to be a murderer, right? Well... That's what they're trying to find out. So what happens is they try to figure out, they, they want to search around and make sure that nothing else is untowards. So they try to pair off in, in small groups so that nobody is left alone and so that nobody else turns up dead. So the question is, will they be safe in numbers or will more tragedy happen? That's about all I can say because... I don't want to give a spoiler away. I don't want to tell you who the guests were. I don't want to tell you who the staff members. I, I, what I want you to do is read it yourself. It's a quick book, a one sitting read. I was definitely engrossed in it. I loved it to the point where I kept thinking about the Agatha Christie novel because it's it, the suspense. It was there. And last, the last thing, and I know this is a super quick review, but I do want to say one more thing. The conclusion, read yeah. it the conclusion. That's all I'm going to say. It's a great book. Don't miss it. Hope you like it.